everyone, John here and welcome back to another Topo Talk session. This is going to be a quick one and it comes from a question on the 3D Modeling Discord. You can see there's this box car and the question was how can we round off this roof? You can see in the example it's got this nice rounded roof and this can be a bit tricky if you do it after the fact, after you've already set up your geometry. It's actually better to start with the roof in my opinion. Let's take a look. So here's the geometry. And you think you could probably just you know, tap into edit mode and you know try and select that loop and then you know, maybe maybe bevel that. Um, but it's always going to be flat at the top. It's going to be very difficult. You think maybe you could you know, put in a few loops. You have to cut them across that end gone, of course. Um, and then use something like you know, proportional editing to pull that up and round it off, but none of that is going to be a good solution. It all looks bad. The best thing to do is to create the roof first, and to do that in Blender, you can actually use a clay bar. So what's a clay bar? Well, let's just come over here. I'm just going to, this is our world zero, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. Press Shift A, and under Mesh, I'm going to choose Round Cube. And I have this option because I have the extra objects add-on turned on in my preferences. And with that turned on, choosing round cube gives you a number of different operator presets. You can see capsule clay bar, quad sphere is in here as well, and of course rounded cube. But for this, I thought clay bar was the best option. And I've already got my settings in here. I want it to be really low poly. Um, we could make linear zero. And we could choose corners like that. So we could start like that and then just add in the loops in the middle. But if I bring that up to one like that and choose all, I'm going to keep it like that. If I change the radius, it will add extra loops in there. And that's going to be too flat because we're going to put this into a sub D surface. And if we have too many loops, they're going to flatten out. So that is just about right there. So I'll go with that and delete the bottom part. Select it all and scale it on the Z. Scale that down like that. Okay, now I can put that into a sub D surface and just shade smooth. You can see how we've got that nice roundness to it now. Looking really nice. So that would come up to here. And then we continue to work from there. Now if we wanted to, we could round that out even more. Just by dissolving that one. Let me just put it on cage and dissolve that one. And that will round that out even more. So it's only a subtle curve, but it's nice and even and looking really good. And now we can just extrude on the Z and work our way down like that. That looks pretty good. Let's try one more. Shift A and round cube. This time I'll just choose corners like that. Okay, and shade smooth. Drop it into a sub D surface. Got to make sure it's selected to shade smooth. And that way I get even more roundness there. It does make it a little bit curved at the sides. So what I'll do is, once again, just get rid of those, select all of that, scale on the Z, scale that down, and just 
solo that. On cage. And it's a nice curve. You can see it's a really gentle curve the way across. And a pretty gentle curve here as well. It's a little bit rounded on the side, so we could always just, you know, add in a couple of extra loops. Just to straighten those out a little bit. And that's looking good. So that's a really good place to start for creating your box car. And it's perfect geometry as well, which is really good. And you can see from the example, there's a couple of, um, you know, holes or you know, vents in the roof here. And they can be added in here and here. And I know this series is about topology. And often the best topology is the topology that's created by using a parametric object like a clay bar. Doing it that way means you're not only starting with the right shape, but you're also starting with nice, clean, organized quads. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another Topo Talk.